Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Well, it's that time of the, the week again where we preview some of the projects that have come in for service and repair and uh, talk a little bit about the ones that are going to make it to video, explain a little bit about the histories of the reels and, well, just see uh, what makes this shop tick from time to time. Well, the first one is actually work in progress. It came in from Howard. Howard has sent me reels in the past and the first one he sent me was this beautiful Penn U.S. Senator with the Cortez conversion. He had asked me to, to change out the plates, which is something that I've done. And uh, well, this one's just ready to go fishing. Beautiful example of custom materials that are out there in the marketplace. He asked me to do the same here, and this will be a uh, video that I do. This is a pen squitter. It's the 140. We have the custom side plates, the custom reel stand, and I guess we'll be using the original bars uh, that go along with this. But that will be a video that will be available for your uh, viewing pleasure and all courtesy of uh, Howard. So I want to take a moment before we get too far into this to encourage you to subscribe to my channel if you do like to see fishing reels, learn about some of the things like aftermarket conversions and hot rotting that can be done. Uh, just learn about the reels in particular, see the generations that are out there, how to service them, and how to keep them free from any uh, issues that may cost you the fish of a lifetime. The next one comes in from George. George is from Connecticut. And George is sending me in one of the nicest reels that uh, Penn has ever made. This is the Penn International 975 Gold Bait Caster. And while the problem with this one is the bait caster is erratic in terms of the trip back. And uh, almost all of the time that involves the little swing arm for the uh, return and the click itself, the uh, washer that's on the gear post, they're just not engaging and flipping back. So uh, parts have been ordered for that. As soon as that comes in, I will address that issue and get this one back to George to go do some fishing. All right, Bobby's sending me some in. Bobby's a longtime channel viewer, comments frequently. He sent in a couple of reels for me here. And uh, Bobby has this uh, flair for finding the older reels. A lot of fun in them. And uh, well, we'll see what, uh, what he brings here. I do like to try to uh, get the some of these reels captured on video as we do the work. And uh, let's see what this one is. This one is a Phantom Miracle Cast. It tells me it's similar to a uh, Mitchell reel. Well, kind of sort of is. This one's got the broken uh, arm on it. I think I just picked up a, a group of reels that uh, are maybe similar to this, and maybe even can use some. Uh, some parts from. We'll have to see. That one I, I think probably is maybe you take apart and learn about it, right? Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll just do what makes this real interesting or unique. Certainly can't go fishing again with the broken uh, arm. And well, you're not going to find one if you haven't seen the reel before. Here's another group of reels that Bobby has sent in. Let's take a look at these. This is a Matsu, I think, uh, yeah. These actually were pretty good. They've been sold on Amazon. It's, it's not terrible. And he says we got a bail problem. We certainly do. And I'm going to guess we have a bail problem spring-wise. We'll see if we can adapt the spring from another one. The problem that you have with the Amazon reels is that, for the most part, yes, they are inexpensive. For the most part, you can't get service and support for them, which is one of the reasons why you're paying a reduced uh, price. This is an, uh, an Abu Garcia. Bobby tells me, well, we don't have an anti-reverse. Okay, we'll take a look at that one, see what we can do there. As you can see, it's kind of an eclectic group that he has. Here's another Cardinal. This is the 562LX. He says the bail won't trip. Well, this is one of these uh, quick release pieces, and we can see that there's a broken, broken lever right here. Um, you're not going to trip it if you can't get the 
the bale over. You can also see the separation on the sides, which generally means that the bale has been bent. Those are all reasons why this wouldn't fire. Here's a big one. This looks like a South Bend of some description. Yeah, it's a South Bend 870 with an internal problem. Well, he's got more than an internal problem. He's got a problem here with this uh, trip lever being where it is. And uh, we'll have to get underneath that. I've done videos on that one before. I've got one more in here. This is fun. This looks like an, H, uh, an Ocean City or an HI reel. I'm not quite sure which one. And then he's just telling me to keep it for my use. There's a lot of things going wrong with this one. The, the screw on the handle is incorrect. Made in Utica. So if it's made in U Utica, yeah, this is an HI. I guess you read it that way. It could be IH that way. Huh? Hob Hobrix and Nabotson. Hobrix and Nabotson from Utica, New York. Okay, Bobby, thanks for sending those in. We'll see what we can do about uh, getting those wheels serviced. And, uh, making a few videos on them. I'm going to put them all in one box there, get those out of the way. And let's move on then. Next one up we have, just came in today, it's came in from Lyle in Minnesota. And uh, well, I'm opening up this package. If you have any questions, if there's a reel here that's being previewed that you'd like to see, uh, let me know about that. We'll see what we can do. He said it was working good. He took it apart to clean it and lubricate it, and now it's binding. Well, we're going to have to see what we can do here. Let's get the little uh, rocket screw in this one. That's typical of a... Uh, well, it certainly is binding. It seems like there might be something... It's in the gear side. How do you know it's in the gear side? Because when you put it in a free spool and you spin it, the spool and everything is doing well. It's over here. This is a Shimano. It's a Canon, Canon 100. And we know what the issue is with this little spring screw. That's a noisemaker that's in here. Uh, I'll let you know when you're backing off the drive. Most likely do a video on that one. I do not believe I have that one in my uh, library. Okay. Moving right along, we've got one that came in from... Uh, Anthony. Anthony is up in uh, New City, New York, which is right by the Tappan Zee Bridge. I guess it's the Cuomo Bridge. I'm not quite sure what we call it these days. I still call it the Tappan Zee Bridge. Nice striper fishing in there. They migrate up under that bridge, and you can get some very nice stripers in the Hudson River right in that area. Okay, one well-packed box. I know I talked to Anthony. I think it might be two pen reels, but I'm not sure. No, we have uh, we have uh, accurate reels. The accurate Valiant, Valiant 400. Well, I agree with him there. Something's definitely wrong with that one. That's tight. We have a second one as well. So accurates are uh, very nice reels. This one's got the leverage handle on. Look at the leverage on that. Wow, that's impressive. This is uh, an Avet or Avet or Avet. People take issue with the way that I pronounce it. This one seems to be pretty. There's no throw on this one. It's uh, kind of stuck in. in the All right, well, we'll take care of that for Anthony. And, uh, try to do videos on those. If time permits, we got one more here. Last, but we're not uh, leaving it out. This one comes from Robert. Robert sent me in some wheels before. He thanked me for the service of them and said, Please "Do me a favor and do a couple more. I'll send them over to you." I guess that's the way to get the endorsement is to, uh, to do a wheel. And have somebody send one for you. This is the Penn Senator. It's a beautiful wheel. This is the 6.0 Special Senator. We just showed you the one on the U.S. Senator. What makes the U.S. Senator different is it's uh, a Senator that's currently manufactured in the U.S. What a surprise, right? Yeah, this is a big one. This is not a 6.0, is it? Yeah, it's the 9.0. Okay, I didn't think it was the 6.0 based on that. Just had a call from Rick down in Sarasota, Florida about replacing the click. 
button on that. Some of them can be replaced, some of them can't. We'll see. I get, I'm going to assume that this one's just in for some servicing. Okay, there you go. If I have time, I'll do this one. I know I've done the, the, nine, the big summaries in the past. I'm not sure if I have the 9.0 in my library. Okay, well, that's quite a uh, an interesting assortment of reels to be done. Uh, we've got so, some pens. we got that International uh, 975 with the release button issue. We've got a Cortez conversion or... A, Somebody's conversion might be Tiburon over there on the 140 Senator uh, Squitter. We've got the Penn Senator. We've got uh, a Shimano Baitcaster. Got some old rails from uh, from Bobby. And that's one of the things I enjoy about uh, this uh, business, if you will. I get variety, and uh, the variety always makes it interesting and fun. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. Before I leave, I want to thank our first responders, our police, fire, safety, rescue, and everybody involved in public service and support. I do appreciate everything you do day in and day out. I also want to take a moment to thank you, the viewer, for making this channel what it is and for uh, helping me to determine the content, what uh, you find interesting and uh, well, what you'd like to learn more about. This is Dennis with Second Chance Taco wishing everybody a great day on the water and fun times fishing.